Hi, everyone. Welcome to BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a question from a fellow boater, and Brent asks, and this is a good one. My mechanic told me to top up my diesel tanks during the winter to prevent condensation. By the way, great advice. Uh, definitely a must to do. Uh, and, corro and condensation is a real deal. Uh, it's really bad, especially in a diesel tank. Um, and then he was asking, and that's really one where it gets really interesting. What about sort of prevention or electrical preventions for boats? What should we do? Well, um, our worst enemy on a boat for sure is humidity, right? Um, if your boat is highly humid or you have portions of your boat that are highly humid, like a bilge um, or even your engine compartment. I've been on boats where the engine compartment is so moist that there's literally water droplets condensation on the ceiling. That's how humid that engine space was. That's terrible. That's really bad, right? So for electrical, what we're trying to prevent uh, is, is not so much condensation, which creates water in the tank for diesel, but we're trying to avoid any sort of moisture that would cause premature rusting or corrosion in electrical circuits. So my advice uh, for boat owners that uh, have boats in the winter time is to make sure that you have adequate ventilation, right? And that you don't want your boat much hotter than the outside, right? Because again, the, dip, the, uh, the temperature differential, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to say it, the temperature differential between the inside and outside of your boat will cause condensation, especially if the outside is much cooler and the inside is much hotter. And so you're going to have actually lots of water that is created on the inside of your hull, against your liners, everywhere, if the temperature of your boat is too hot compared to the outside, and specifically the hull, the water temperature, right? The bigger that differential is, uh, the worse your condensation is going to be inside your boat, which will affect and cause corrosion on your electrical connections. So that would be one thing. Limit the temperature, make sure you have heat, but just slightly more than the ambient temperature of the surrounding areas. Not too much of a differential, otherwise you're actually making it worse, in my opinion. And then uh, make sure that all your electrical connections, wherever they are, if they're in your engine room, uh, electrical panel, are well ventilated, right? So, you know, I'm not saying that you need a fan on there, but you don't want to make sure that it's not stuffy. And if, it, if you open a, a part of your boat and it smells and it's pretty damp, make sure you don't have loose electrical connections in there, right? And if you do, then you probably want to make sure that you protect them and have, you know, heat shrink connections on them, or you put them in, uh, some people put them in these sort of like junction boxes that are weatherproof, right? There's all different things, but we do have to concern because ultimately electrical problems come from predominantly bad connections. And bad connections come from corrosion. So our our goal here, like a diesel tank, is to prevent condensation or high humidity to attack our electrical connections. So great question, Brent, and thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for watching. I appreciate it.